Okay, greetings all. I am trying a different camera. We have a few cameras here, so hopefully this one is better. The other one kind of drives me nuts because it cuts off at 9.59 increments and I can't find a setting there to make the adjustment. So, anyway, today I'm going to be doing um, another pickup video. Uh, this was over the weekend. Found some stuff, uh, so let's check it out. Um, so Friday was kind of uneventful. This one was not a thrift store find of any kind. Um, it was more delivery because I placed an order uh, with Microsoft, and that's that's fun in the least. Uh, apparently the tax system is all messed up, at least for my area. So I'm trying to fix that out. Uh, so with this one, got this for $9.99, factory sealed. I had a copy, but I wanted one to actually play. Uh, played it for a little bit, not the greatest thing, but I like the series, so I wanted to be able to give it a full try with this, um, and it's Zoo Tycoon. So, and for whatever reason, these are kind of expensive, not, not super expensive, at least the Zoo Tycoon, I mean, not the stuff I'm going to be showing you. Um, I'm not sure why, I guess it didn't really do too well, so try it out, see how it goes, but so far it's, it's okay. Um, next one was a yard sale that my wife had let me know about, and it was a little far away, but it wound up being worth it in the end. I still spent a decent amount, um, in a sense of yard sale going wise, but with the stuff I got back from it, I can't really complain. So, we'll start out with, uh, and let me say, this person had a lot of stuff. Um, their yard sale advertised that they had sealed video games um, and some bar stuff as well. But I was thinking when I was going there, I was expecting it to be kind of like their price is going to be ridiculous. It's not even going to be worth it. But I was like, you know what? I always check these things out. I mean, usually I kind of put these off in the beginning. But after I started watching so many videos of, of people and what they found, I was like, all right, you know what? I'll give it a try anyway. So, had to get up pretty early, drove there, got there before everybody else, which was great. I had my, my choice of stuff, and I have a feeling if I didn't, it would have been kind of picked over, and I wouldn't have gotten as much as I wanted. Um, but the first one I got, this one looked kind of interesting, um, by Red Orb Entertainment. Kind of like a hack and slash uh, dungeon crawler, I guess you could say. Uh, Soul Fighter for the Dreamcast. And these things are in immaculate shape. Uh, this guy really took good care of these. And that was the other thing. I started asking him why he was getting rid of this stuff. And what turned it, what it turned out to be was that this isn't something where he was like, you know, it, uh, I, I got married or um, work is just taking up too much of my time. This guy had all this stuff, like all of it. What he was saying was, He's like, I just, it, I upgraded this, so he's like, I'm trying to make some room and everything for like different parts of his collection. But there, there's some people when you talk to them and you're like, yeah, I don't know if I really buy it. This one I actually kind of believe because of the stuff that he had and he was telling me about like some of the stuff. He didn't seem like an actual gamer though. He seemed like he just collected, because um, I was asking him like what kind of games he was interested in and he just kept saying Mario stuff, so I don't know. Um, but, uh, I got some decent deals with this, so here was another one I got, um, this one was, so this one was five bucks, I believe, um, which I don't try to be rude and, like, look it up on eBay as they're there, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit there and, like, spend 40 bucks on something that is easily only worth five. I mean, that's, that's stupid at that point. Um, so the next one I got was an Age Tech game. Never heard of this before. This guy still had it factory sealed. Hang tag still in place, not even moved or anything. Um, I have to clean it up just a little bit, but it kind of looks like a platformer, 3D platformer, adventurer type of thing, like almost like Banjo-Kazooie in a sense. Um, it's called Fix the adventure. So, I don't know, looks interesting. Hopefully I can find one used and 
try it out and see how it is. Um, so the next one here was something that was kind of funny because I was telling my wife it was one of those things in, in um, probably happens to you guys as well where you're thinking about something and then all of a sudden it seems to be like a pattern like what you think about just appears um, not not everything obviously because at that point you love to get like stadium events or Panzer Dragon and Saga but but like basic titles and everything, like I went to the one thrift store and um, I picked up El Shaddai for the PS3 and then I went to the next thrift store in my previous video and I got El Shaddai for the 360, but I wanted um, I wanted the manual which it didn't come with for the PS3, so this one came with the manual, so it's kind of like you have a combo of both. Um, so with this one, I had the game I got there. Portal 2 for the 360, I got it for the PS3. Um, I like PS3 titles more, just it's my personal preference in a sense, but at the same time, I have noticed they have, um, there's a lot of glitching in some of those, like it's a poor port over. Um, perfect thing I can think of is uh, Tony Hawk's Pros, not Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Project 8. I think it is. It was the first intro where you were turning the thumbsticks into the actual skateboard, so it was kind of like ripping off what skate did um, in, in that regard. So it was the same thing, similar to that. Um, and, and there was just parts of it where it, like there was one part you couldn't complete the actual level. So I actually returned the game saying like, no, you can't, you can't, you can't finish this. It's impossible. And I told him, I was like, I, I want the PS3 version. So it was like one of the only times they actually swapped it out, which I really don't see why it's an issue if you're getting the same exact title, but that's a whole other point. So I got Portal 2. Um, he wanted 10 a piece for these. Um, I didn't want to spend 10. I really didn't. But the thing was, it was an immaculate shape. Um, no scratches whatsoever on the disc. I mean, none. Like, it's kind of like, I think he just opened it up would pop the disc in and then put it back on the shelf and that's where it would sit the whole time. Um, so, excited to have that. The one I really wanted though, and I kind of settled on this, or not settled on it, I decided to get this afterwards um, and, he had it for, and I got it for $7.50 in the end, was Orange Box. And that's the thing, I was, I was looking at other people, they were talking about, oh this is such a great game and you really need to get it, this is becoming harder and harder to find. Um, and I would look at it in GameStop to kind of get an idea um, where it was like they wanted like 30 bucks, which they're not always the best thing to go by, but in some cases they're actually, they have better prices than what eBay does. So in some cases you can actually get yourself a deal. Um, so with something like this, I would pick this up in general, but with this guy, I knew it was going to be in great shape, so I was like, there, this is kind of like a no-brainer at this point, so it was a must to get this. Portal 2, I kind of just swung into the deal, um, kind of threw that in, and got him to give me that for a decent price, I think. Um, so I'm probably going to sell Portal 2, just to recoup some of my money at that point, but I'm going to try it on the 360 first, and then on the PS3 to see if there is any type of shaking um, or glitching or any type of choppiness with the frame rate. If that's the case, I may stick with um, keeping Portal 2 as well and, and kind of play it out as as the days go on. Um, so really happy to get that. Um, so we got those and then the next thing at this yard sale, um, and this is where I spent a good amount of my money was, um, he had demo discs and the demo discs he had, and this is what made me believe it, because I was asking, I was like, oh, what are you collecting? He's like, everything, and he says, and he's like, I got a complete collection of NES, complete collection of um, Virtual Boy, uh, complete collection of this, complete that, and, and so forth. It's because he had like five to six of each of these demo discs, in most cases, um, and and they were either sealed or they were open. Some, like I would say maybe less than 2% were kind of beat up, but all they were beat up with was the the casing. So, some, some good stuff there. Uh, so, I'll show you that. 
We'll go with the only one that was open that I decided to get, and that was Extermination. Now, if you've never played Extermination, um, this is a kind of Resident Evil knockoff type of thing. Uh, think of like that, the thing, uh, the movie. Um, I never really played the game. I had it at one point, but I didn't play it. Um, but I played this. I actually got this when it was pretty pricey used at, uh, at GameStop or EB, whatever it was at the time, the one that was nearby, I think it might have been an EB, and wasn't bad, it, it was just, it wasn't something that really captured my attention. Um, so it was just one of those where I was like, not bad, but uh, interested, I, I think I'm going for a survival horror collection. I'm starting to piece this stuff together. Um, I've been adding some higher end titles to my collection that are kind of costly. I think the most I spent on one of them was like a hundred and something. Um, but it was one that I really wanted. Um, and it's probably gonna be something I don't get rid of. So it's kind of going into that realm. So I got extermination, pretty, pretty happy about that. Now the next one here is a combination of different games and usually I don't go for something like this. Um, I don't know, it, it just feels like it's kind of cheap in some regards. But for the title that was on there, I decided to get it, and that was the Konami Collection. Um, so it has six playable demos and some bonus trailers. Uh, this is still sealed. Most of his stuff, like I said, was sealed. Um, the one I got it for was Silent Hill 4, The Room. Um, which it's funny because I had a chance to keep a few of those and I just didn't. I actually had, at one point, I had Silent Hill 4 in the room, I got it, used it at GameStop, and for some reason somebody included the soundtrack to it and I was trying to get some money together so I wound up selling the soundtrack which was pretty stupid at that point so then it became this long hunt of trying to find it and I went up buying it on eBay again um, for maybe a few dollars more than what I wound up selling it for. But I'm like, I'm not making the mistake again of selling it. I'm more collecting the Silent Hill franchise at that point. I don't know if I'm going to go for all of them because some of them are kind of bad. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, so the next one was a... I believe it was a PS3 launch title, the sequel, I think, um, or at least one of them in the series. I don't know which sequel it is or how many are in the series at this point. But then I, when I did a little bit of research, I found out, oh, this came out for the PS2 as well, a uh, different one. So I decided to get this, and it's, uh, I hope I'm saying this right, Genji, uh, Dawn of Darkness. So this one was pretty cool with this. I, I, I had some of the Onimusha games, um, which I don't know if it's exactly the same, but to me, I kind of like that, so it was it was kind of easy to get into this, and especially with some of the PS3 titles, it's really cheap, so I'm trying to collect those now to kind of get a decent collection going, um, so that way I don't have to kind of do this uh, later. So the next one was a game that has been out for a while, real staple in, in gaming, but I just couldn't really get into it. Um, I have the games, I have the remasters of the games, um, I think I have, I don't have the remaster of the third one, but I have the third one originally, and it is God of War. Um, got this, the Hydra battle. I thought this is pretty cool for history wise um, because it's something I'm not I'm not willing to say I don't like it um, I kind of did that with Super Smash Brothers but I still have the games and I actually played Super Smash Brothers 3D um, the newest one and I'm starting to enjoy it I'm starting to get it um, so it's one of those that's why I keep the stuff I keep because you never know when you might want to go back to it, and all of a sudden, this really appeals. So, I got this one, and I also got the second one. Uh, I think this is the only one he had of this one, though. 
So um, I try to get them as clean as possible with, uh, with seals. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty pretty happy about that. I was hoping he had the third one, but can't really go, can't really complain too much um, for that. These were supposed to be five a piece or five uh, for twenty, so four bucks a piece. I wound up getting them for three dollars a piece because of how many I bought. I bought like nine or ten. Um, so the next one was Shadow of Rome. Um, so, unfortunately, it's by Capcom. Um, I say unfortunately because they put a real sour taste in my mouth as of recently with a few games that I picked up. Um, I might do a video, like a side video with that, kind of like it's a warning with digital copies. Uh, if you're interested in that, just put like a note in the description um, or add a comment and just say like, hey, you said about this, uh, let me know. Um, but Shadow of Room, I actually watched somebody play a while ago, and that's kind of how I got into some of the PS2 games that I probably wouldn't have given a chance in the beginning, but I was watching this guy, he would, he would get these games, and he would be throwing them like a day or two, but, like, I'd be sitting there, and I'd watch, like, some of it as I'm doing some work, and, and some of these titles, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. So, Shadow of Room is, like gladiator style type of thing where you're battling in um, in the Colosseum and such. So if you like that, you're probably going to like this. Um, and Gladius is kind of similar. Now I've never played Rygar. I don't know if that's similar to that, but uh, so I don't know if that would be something you guys would be interested in. But if, if you like the Roman battle-esque type of thing for a PS2 game, I think that one's a good one to check out. It's not too expensive either. Probably about, I don't know, 10 bucks or so. Um, so next one was one that I was really excited about. Um, this kind of goes into the horror, survival horror-esque games. I have this on the PS2. I also have it on the PS3. Um, not the exact same game, but different, but I have it. Um, is Siren or uh, just Siren at that point. Um, interesting game. I don't know if it's the same as the one in the third, uh, or, I'm sorry, the one on the PS3, um, where it's kind of like a TV crew that goes to this remote, not island, but, well, I guess you could kind of say island and stuff. And then some weird stuff starts happening there. This is kind of similar to that. But, um, the one thing that was interesting with that is you can, uh, I think they were like spirits or ghosts. Um, where you could kind of get a preset set up of what they see through their eyes, and once you have that set up, you can go to that on the fly. So it's kind of like you can see it from their point of view, the zombies or whatever they are, um, as they're coming at you, which I thought was pretty cool. I haven't put in too much time, obviously, and it's been a while since I played it, but that was the stuff that I got from that, and I was immediately hooked. Um, but it's weird how I go through games and stuff where it's like some things I play and I'll play it for a long time or I'll keep going at it and then others I try it out, drop it, I'm interested so I still keep it but it's for however long until I play it so then I have like these weird little tidbits of stuff but not too much info. So the next one um, was pretty much icing on the cake. Uh, I had this used, and I got that for like a buck, but these are sealed, um, and I wound up getting two copies. Now the one's kind of beat up with, in a sense of, uh, it's just the seal, it's kind of open in a couple of spots. Um, it has the person's name from the PlayStation Underground, I think that's going to come off. It doesn't look like it's going to be an issue, I'm starting to peel it now, and yeah, it seems okay. Um, but since it's the same, I'll just show you the one is possibly my favorite game of all time, Shadow of the Colossus. I think the artwork is a little bit different. If it's not, no big deal. Um, I have a few copies of this sealed. Uh, I have one of the black labels and like three or four of the red labels. That's, I'm that big of a fan of it. I've played through the game completely. Um, have the greatest, or not the greatest, it's um, the remastered version. Which, that was the one gripe I had was how... It wasn't that late in the PS2's life. This thing came out, I think, in like 05. 
but it was very the graphics were already like just oh at, at the time but it was one of those you had to you had to get through it and as long as you did it's great it's absolutely great <laughs> i think there's really no uh not no audio but there's no real dialogue in a sense of um your character doesn't really talk to anything. It's just him and his horse. So it's it's a lot of the parts is just you galloping through an area. And then he kind of calls his horse and, and uh, you hear like the basic just sound effects and stuff. But, but it's not like other titles where it's like verbal audio at that point. So it's like you hear dialogue at that point and stuff. There's like just him and the spirits every once in a while. Um, and then it's just you running around and but it's, it's, if you haven't played it, at least give it a try. Um, even if it is a demo, um, I think you can get the demos for pretty cheap. Then again, you can get the, the, um, the HD collection you should be able to get for pretty cheap nowadays. So give that a try if you have a PS3, um, and I really think you'll be in for a nice surprise. Um, so that did it for that yard sale. In total, I spent 58 bucks. Um, was what was well worth it though. I looked up a couple of these, and for example, these were like selling for like 20 bucks a piece. So I definitely saved some money there. wasn't really overspending. Um, and then shortly after I got there, a group of people just appeared. It was kind of like everybody was just swarming at this table. Guy had Sega Saturn titles. He had some Sega CDs. Um, he had Genesis. Um, Genesis, um, Dreamcast, I was thinking Sega, and then just immediately went to Genesis, uh, PS1, no real PS2 titles, um, except for the demos, and then he had some used PS3 games, and the sealed PS3 games he wanted 20 apiece, a lot of those were in a clearance deal that I was passing up when you could get them for 10 bucks and 7 bucks, and I was just like, eh, it's not really... Not really my thing, so I just kind of was like, meh, pass. Um, but I think I did pretty good with that, so I was really happy, especially with, um, well, obviously the demos, but the, the Orange Box and Portal 2. Um, definitely be putting in some time with that soon. I'm still kind of working with Fallout. That's taking up a lot of time when I have available time. So um, once I got back, I agreed with my wife we were going to go to... Um, She's interested in collecting like briar horses and stuff, so we we're going to go out do that. Um, so in the meantime, though, we wanted to go to like a couple of things. So we went to a thrift store too. Um, the one thrift store we went to uh, usually doesn't have too much, but every once in a while they will. Um, so I kind of scoured the area for there in, in that thrift store. Was able to find a couple of things. Um, at that point, I was more in the mindset of, hey, I just spent 58 bucks, let me try to get back my money at this point. Um, so one of the things I got was Civil War II Generals on the PC. Um, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to keep it. Um, this thing, it looks okay. I mean, it's by Sierra, so think of, uh, I think, Fear. Pretty sure on that one, but uh, Counter Strike and, and stuff like that. But uh, I don't, I'm not a big PC gamer, but uh, we'll take a look at it and see how it is. So I got that for a buck. Um, the other one was I just finished fixing the artwork on this because it was folded in half. It looked like it was ripped. It was bent on the one side. This is at least somewhat respectable. And I already have this. I'd rather find stuff that I don't have. But in the meantime, if it's able to get me to get some money together to be able to buy a title that I wouldn't be able to usually find. I am okay with it. Doesn't come with the manual. They wanted three bucks for it. Can't really complain with that. Disc is in okay shape. Uh, we have Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube. Um, it's got some folds here, folds there. Uh, like I said, no manual. Disc is in okay shape though, and it was funny because as soon as I went there and picked that stuff up, Three minutes later, somebody else was there looking for stuff, and he had that. I think he had some type of game system in his hands or something. Some, like one of those uh, leapfrog things or something. So, I was like, eh, whatever. So, those were the only two things we found there. Um, then we wandered around. She got some stuff that she was interested in. 
Um, and then I was looking at, uh, went to a different Goodwill. Didn't have too much, um, but was able to find another title where this one was something that goes for an okay amount. I'm actually into farming simulators, but this one's still sealed. So I'm going to look to see if I find anything online. Maybe it's like a freeware title, something like that. Um, John Deere American Farmer. So the seal is, it's a little questionable um, if you look at it. But looking at it pretty thoroughly, I was able to see it's, it's still sealed. It's still okay. So it's going to be one of those where I'm just going to let that go. It's not going to be something I'm going to keep in my collection. So um, that was $2.97. Um, I think that was... Uh, yeah, I think that was the only thing I got from there. There wasn't any discounts or anything, which is a shame, but hey, what are you going to do? So the next thing I went to was, um, so that was Saturday. Sunday we went out and we're looking around for stuff, and she wanted to go to a different store that was farther out, um, which actually worked out well because the day before that we were looking for games and some of the games that we were seeing were just ridiculous in price, so I couldn't pick those up. Like, they had Super Smash Brothers for the 3DS. Um, just the card itself, and that was 20 bucks that they wanted for that. And it was, I already have it, so it's not something that was going to go into my collection where I could somewhat justify it. And it, I still don't think I would have it at price. Um, but, uh, so then we were going out, and we went out to way, way out. And as we're there, we stopped at this one, we were at this one place that she wanted to go to. And I found this game, and this is a very niche, um, or niche, I don't know how you say it. Um, I think it's niche. Market. So I'm not really surprised that it probably didn't do too well. Um, so I did some debating back and forth. It was only $2.99, and I actually got it for a discount. So it was like $2.50 something. Um, for the PC, but Snapshot Adventures, it is Secret of Bird Island, um, which I found kind of funny because on the back of it, it says, Grandpa is missing, so just kind of one of those stereotypical things, like only old people like birds, no, I'm not, not sure at all, but um, so you're, you're kind of going on this to find your grandfather, um, you're collecting some info, and they're just sending you all over the place, and you have to look at birds, and and take some pictures and they give you some stuff which is kind of flimsy on itself but got good reviews on Amazon I actually put probably about 45 minutes into it last night just doing different types of pictures and stuff and it's actually pretty good um, as long as you're not expecting too much which I wasn't um, for like the birds and everything the calls the what they're trying to do um, kind of like uh, God, what is it? Dead Rising. I think it's Dead Rising. Probably got that name really wrong. No, it is Dead Rising. The first one, uh, where you're doing photos, and you have to get them in, like, certain action poses, and that gives you more points and stuff. They do the same thing with this. It doesn't sit there and say, like, excellent or, or yeah or anything like that, but cool, you get, like, pictures and stuff, and then it kind of plays a game with your memory with, um, it doesn't tell you what your previous, um, what your new picture is, you have to kind of remember it when you took the photo because they do kind of like sessions. So if you think of um, Oregon Trail, where you're doing like the uh, the shooting and it's kind of like just for like maybe 30 seconds while you're there type of thing, this is kind of the same thing with like daylight. You get the pictures, it tells you how many points you're getting in the beginning um, and how many stars it is and so forth. But then it goes to the end and it shows you the original photos you had and what you have to. Um, which one you want to keep. You only get to keep two. One of them of the bird just standing there doing nothing and one of them in flight. So if you select the wrong one, you lose the points, um, but you get a different picture. But if you select the better one or your older one, um, I still don't know how that works in the sense of if you keep the points and stuff. But so far, I'm actually really enjoying this. Um, it is very cheap to get as well. So that was another thing that made it a little bit easier to uh, if I didn't find it, I was going to be able to find it online, but I was like, yeah, I'll just pick it up here. It's going to be cheaper than, than getting it online, and I thought I could sell it if I don't like it. Uh, but so far, I'm actually enjoying it, and my wife is as well. She put it on her computer, too, and she was playing with it uh, yesterday, too. So that one was pretty cool. Uh, so you got to love it when the camera just shuts off and doesn't tell you anything. 
Awesome. So, I watched the last part of it to see where I had left off. Um, so we finished up with the bird game. <sighs> Telling you, man. It's fucking nuts. So, the next one, after we went from there, I talked to my wife, and I was like, let me look online and see. And I looked online, and... They had a game available that I was, I've been looking for for a while, and I decided to give them a call and see if they had it. The thing was, they had to have it complete. Other places it had it in the area, um, but it was always just like the disc, and then, it, then I found one where it was the disc and the insert, but not the full thing. So I'm like, yeah, if I'm going to do this, I'm not, not going to play around, I'm just going to get the full thing at one price and just make one stop. So, finally talked to the person on the phone, sounded like they didn't have it, because he was like, well, it has the artwork, uh, but it doesn't have the manual. He's like, wait, hold on. And then you hear him, like, pop it open, and he's like, nope, it does have the manual. I'm like, awesome. Put it on hold, and it took us probably about 20 minutes to head over there, and then at that point, finally got there, I'm looking around for some other stuff, but mainly, this was the thing I came for, much cheaper there than it is online, so it was kind of a given, um, 3D.GameHeroes for the PS3, so, and the thing is in great shape, I was kind of worried about the manual, I was like, I have no idea how this is going to be, but we'll see, uh, but yeah, it's in great shape, so I was very happy about that, and then, what made it even better was, while I was there, I'm like, you know what, I forgot about the other game that I'm looking for. Let me see if they have it. Nobody else has had it so far. Not only did they have it, they had it complete. And it's Dragon's Crown for the PS3. Um, I really hadn't played this, and I still haven't. But what had sold me on it was I was watching some videos of people and they were like these are the games to uh, collect and everything, they're going to be probably going to be rare and stuff, which that I don't really worry about too much um, the Atlas ones are kind of like one of those things where every once in a while not every once in a while well, every once in a while they don't become rare but majority of the time it seems like they have a good amount of titles where if it's like, if it's hard to come by it's an Atlas title um so, but what sold me on it was the person was saying, he pulled out the game and he showed it to you, and he was like, this one is similar to Golden Axe, and that's, a, that's immediately what got my attention with that. I was like, oh, okay, Golden Axe. I'm like, I love Golden Axe, so well, anything that's similar to that, I'm, I'm definitely all ears for. So I, I saw the title, we talked about it for a little bit, got, definitely got my interest. I looked online, and it's some YouTube videos, and it is, it is pretty close in a sense from that and it's the same thing it's an atlas title uh is dragon's crown for there you go and the back and it comes complete as well i was about ready to say for the ps3 obviously it's a given it's for the ps3 if i'm holding it right up in front of the camera um but yeah i was really really excited about that so that was that was awesome um so yeah those were those were the finds with that. Um, there was a couple other places that we went past, but it was Sunday. Those places were probably closed. She still needed to get to another area um, at, that we promised her, so it's one of those where I'm like, all right, we gotta go there, so. Um, but yeah, all in all, I thought it was a really, really good weekend for, for finds and such. Um, kind of going through cleaning some stuff out here, getting rid of stuff, so. Hopefully I will be doing another video soon, but in the meantime, thank you guys, and hopefully this video did not shut off again. I'll see you.